Stimulating talk for independent thought. KFI and KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. There is a new way to polygraph someone, and this is a company called Conversus. Or no, just Converse. Converus. 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 Hmm. Um, uh, the product is called Eye Detect. Aha. Uh-huh. And it can detect liars just by looking into their eyes. Or can it? Well, let's just say this. There was a case a few years ago, a volunteer track coach in New Mexico on trial for allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl. His lawyer asked the judge to admit the evidence from one of these eye detect tests, a lie detection test that's simply based on eye movements. Well, his attorney said he took the test and he passed, that he told the truth. He did not rape that 14-year-old girl. The judge agreed. Five of the 12 jurors wound up voting not to convict. They declared a mistrial. Now, again. That's not the same as saying the guy didn't do it, but it is a mistrial. Therefore, he's not guilty. The chief executive says that they've well, they they may retry it. Could True. Uh, the chief executive, Todd Mickelson, says they have built a much better truth detection mousetrap than the good old polygraph. That eye movements reflect their bearer far better than the old polygraph. They have 600 customers. And they say that this is all about the polygraph in more algorithmic clothing. Uh Uh-huh. Listen, the polygraph measures blood pressure, breathing, sweat to figure out if you're lying. And the way he describes it, uh, again, this is uh, the guy who is in Todd Mickelson, the chief executive of this company. He says the polygraph is emotional. I detect is cognitively based mm. and he explains eye movements would be affected because you have to think harder to lie than to tell the truth. The polygraph measures blood pressure, breathing and sweat to determine the lying. That's what sounds better. When you say. Oh, uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's like a new coat of paint on that point. New coat of paint. Yeah. Like that spin. I do. That's a good one. Um, people have been trying to make these predictions about who's lying and who's not for a long time. There's a psychologist at Brandeis University conducted some of the leading research in the field of truth detection. Oh, yeah, Leonard Sachs. That's the guy. Yeah. He says science really hasn't progressed much in the last hundred years. The other issue is who the hell listens to lie detector tests anymore? Yeah. What judge in New Mexico would have allowed... The evidence from a a brand new lie detector test, no less, not even an old fashioned polygraph test that's been used and studied over and over and over again, whether it's reliable or not, is up for argument. But this is a brand new version of it. The American Psychological Association says that most psychologists agree there is little evidence that polygraph tests can accurately detect lies because good liars can cover up ticks. 1988 federal law bans private employers from administering these things. Most states don't accept them as evidence in court either. So make way for eye detect. It's terrifying, isn't it? They they said that describing this as a groundbreaking technology may be jumping way ahead of it because there are it's okay to be skeptical about all of this. Like we see things they use an example of the soft drink industry right mm-hmm. sodas with diet sweeteners that come in and are supposed to be game changing there's no side effects tastes like real sugar doesn't change the formula of your soda whatever but then you taste it and you're like nah i don't know about that and you also grow a third finger out of the back of your neck or something like that yeah maybe there is something wrong with that but they they always fall short of their promises about 15 years ago they came up with a lie detector based on a functional MRI, which says that the blood flow to the brain could hold the key to truth detection. But it didn't meet scientific standards. Cost and uh, intensiveness further inhibited broad adoption. You don't want to get an MRI 
while someone is uh, throwing questions at you about whether or not you've ever hurt anybody. The police like this thing. They say people will come in nervous because they're expecting you to see what they have on TV. You know, you're hooked up to this machine, you're sweating, and it's crazy. Uh, this, he says, is just clean and quick, according to Lieutenant Josh Hardy of the Wyoming Highway Patrol. They've used eye detect to screen more than 150 prospective job candidates in the last two years. And it's it's pretty cheap. It's about $5,000 for this system. Let I me just, see. Look at my eyes. No. And then. Come on. I want to see no, you lying. I am lying. My question is, <laughs> if you get tacked, tabbed, like if this if this guy, this volunteer track coach accused of raping a teenage girl, what if he's innocent? But he's terrified right. about the prospect totally. of going to jail for 15 years. That's why they're thrown out. That's why polygraph tests are thrown out all the time. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Look at look at me. Not going to look it. at me. When we come back, <laughs> uh, Swamp Watch, we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, three-hour conversation between Joe Biden and President Xi from last night and how things are going. Do you think I'm funny? Layla Muhammad oh, has enough. I didn't even look at you. Oh, you I could, could, tell, you could, could not see. see. My eyes were closed.